final round of, of season eight. Uh, we're here in South Korea in Seoul. Amazing track, really tight and bumpy. Some other areas like really wide and fast. So I think it's going to be good for racing, good overtaking, hard on tires, hard on energy. The stadium looks, looks quite nice. There's going to be a lot of people here. So it's going to be a very cool ambience. The work that you do at home is very important. You know, we're normally quite strong in a new track. So hopefully that's the case again for us and we can finish the season on, on a high. The only thing that I care is about doing a, a good weekend, uh, scoring as many points as possible. I haven't won this year, so definitely that's going to be the, the target. Welcome to South Korea. The land of the morning calm is about to transform into the land of the afternoon turbulence. Antonio Felix da Costa missing out on the top 10. And then it is ninth on the grid for jean eric Verne. And we go green in Seoul. Oh, look at that. Verne around the outside into turn one. Da Costa going ahead. That is him ahead of Sergio Sede Camera. This is on board with Verne. Yeah, yeah. I think Mortara went back to the racing line. Vern tried to dummy him and then he blocked him again. I tend to agree with you, Jack. Uh, the rest was okay. I would say the problem was not the race, it was uh, more about the quality. We started in the middle of the pack to, to finish with both cars on the point, so we were uh, happy with that. So the ambition is definitely to put it on the podium. Uh, we think we have the pace uh, to go through the groups and to arrive to the duel, so that's our focus at the moment. The battle for pole position is between Antonio Felix da Costa and Eduardo Mortara. Across the line, it is the Diaz de Chita of Antonio Felix da Costa who takes pole position for Seoul. 99 races ago, Formula E began, and now eight years later, for the 100th race in the series. Today, it is the 2022 Seoul E Prix, the final round of the season. Gunnarik Verne for Diaz de Chita is eighth on the grid, and on pole position is Antonio Felix da Costa. We go green in Seoul. Very good getaway from da Costa at the front. Moves over, covers the inside line. Verne is to the outside, and Degrassi is out. Battle for second. De Costa to the outside. Dennis leaves his nose in. De Costa's fully gone off. Uh, this was De Costa's move on Nato. Yeah, lovely, lovely overtaken move there from De Costa. Oh, Degrassi got ahead of Sims and then De Costa yoinked it up the inside as well. 